All right, so I'm just gonna do a basic uh, lux test on the Swamp Eye Light Bar Silent Series. Um, as you can see, I've got it sitting there. It's got the branding on the side there. <clears throat> Fresh out of the box. Comes with the little rotary controller there and then I've got it hooked to a power supply here 18 volts and then I see it uh, plugged right on into there so then I've got the lux meter over here it's powered on there's the sensor and it's about 10 feet from the edge of the test station I can measure it for you. It's about 10 feet there. 120 inches about. And there's the light. So this is basically uh, a pinpoint measurement of a light source. It says very little about how the light actually performs in the real world. But uh, this is sort of a measurement of the light's intensity and pretty much nothing more than that. So all it does is it takes the light projects from over there and the sensor just measures a little tiny portion of the total amount of light that's coming out. It doesn't measure lumens, it's just a lux test. So, and that little sensor. The more light that hits it, the higher this number goes. So that's, again, the intensity, uh, measurement of the light's intensity. So I'm gonna do the lux test here. So I'm going to be holding the light right at the edge of the test station here. And basically going to be rotating it forward and backwards like this I know in the on the website it shows it mounted like this um, branding is upright that way but I see a lot of guys they're mounting them like this so I'm just gonna rotate this thing back and forth like that to get this number over here to go as high as it can which will be the most intense part of that light from this distance, which is just about 10 feet. So I'll turn it on. <clears throat> we'll get it all the way into the warmest setting. We'll do that color first, because the color does make a big difference. So this is the warmest setting here. And you can see I've got it right there. And we've got uh, roughly 173 there. I'm going to rotate it back a little bit here. Just basically straight up and down. So as you can see, the intensity has gone up quite a bit about 230 so I'm going to rotate it a little bit here to see if we can get that number to go any higher than that so usually the brightest point of the light is directly perpendicular to it because uh, LEDs naturally their most intense output is directly straight on from the light so tipping it down is going to reduce the throw naturally so I can't really get it much higher than 230 see it moving just a little bit about 235 ish so and if I tip it back further obviously the number will go down again And that's straight on like this with the recommended mounting 
position on the website to try to mimic the efficiency effect. As you can see, you've still got light going way up there. Um, even with this position here, you still have light going way up. Um, and then if you tip it back further, obviously it's going to be even, even more dramatic. It's functioning like a regular traditional light bar at this point. So there's the numbers on that one. Again, I'll put it on its brightest point there. And then their lux meter, 10 feet, about uh, 230, 235-ish. All right, so this test, I'm going to be uh, doing a lux test on the 65 watt efficiency uh, V2 tricolor light. And I've got the power supply here, converter, driver pack, got it hooked up AC to DC there. Got uh, output here, cables, one goes to the light, the other one goes to the controller. Controllers on, and then um, got the meter down there with the sensor, and we are ten feet from the sensor, 120 inches. So now again, uh, this test does not say much about the light's performance uh, on the water or where that light is going. It is just a pinpoint measurement of light from that particular source of light at a given distance. So, zoom in on the meter. Same, same deal here, right on the edge. And let's get that thing to go as high as we can. Warmest setting on the efficiency B2. About 485. The brightest point. So I, I want to point out here too, you can see the termination line as I rotate the light back, forward and backwards, where that light is actually going. Because you know what's above that termination line is trees and sky and houses, wasted light. Uh, so keeping it down into the water um, maximizes your efficiency. So anyways, the only portion of light that really matters is what's going down here and out there. Anything above that is wasted. So again, warmest setting. About, I'm rotating it back and forth about four, Four eighty five ish. So in this test here, we are going to be testing the uh, white spectrum in the Swamp Eye Silent Series bar. And uh, here it is hooked up the same way as it was on the previous test. I've got it uh, all the way up. And naturally, uh, the higher white Kelvin is going to make more lumens per watt than the warmer color. Uh, so rotate the dial all the way see if we can get it I don't know why it's jumping around alright let me get it all the way one direction okay all the way one direction that is the highest white color there and I've got this light here this is the silent series bar again same distance 120 inches or 10 feet to the sensor, there's the sensor and the meter down there. And I'm going to start by doing the same thing as the last test. I've got it positioned right there on the lip 
of the test station there and I'll zoom in on the meter so we've got about uh, 260 270 ish in that position which is the recommended positioning for that light on the website I see uh, okay so God, that's getting hot. Let's tip it back a little bit to the brightest point. Remember, the brightest point of the light is going to be perpendicular to the LEDs themselves. So this should be the highest number that that light will make. So. See that meter jumping up to about 365-ish. rotating the light a little bit like this just to try to get that number as high as I can from this distance oh that was about as high as I've had it there it's 360 about 365 there from 10 feet away from the sensor so now I'm going to be doing a lux test with the efficiency v2 65 watt tricolor light and in the high white setting which is 4000 Kelvin um, I've got the power supply hooked up here as you can see the same way driver pack one cord for the light one cord for the controller got the controller hooked up light is on and you can see here the termination line is about the same 10 feet away from the sensor and Let's see. So again, naturally, the higher Kelvin white spectrum is going to make more lumens for the same amount of wattage, just because there's more visible light in that spectrum than there is in the warm spectrum, which is one of the reasons why we opted for multicolored light, just more lumens for the same wattage. So as I rotate the light back and forth, I'm trying to get that number to go as high as possible, which is just, again, a measurement of the light's intensity at that pinpoint location from 10 feet away. And about 690, 690. 